I wanted to make this video as I'm walking to the bus stop for work at this early hour in the morning of 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time to make an apology. And it's not for anything that I did necessarily towards you guys that view my content and enjoy it. It's more so because of what I let myself do to myself, <laughs> or what I did to myself, and I kind of put it on display. Even though it wasn't a big deal, I felt like it was a big deal to me where I had to make this video. Um, you know, I'm a guy that has a lot of pride, you know, when it comes to certain things, you know. Um, I believe first impressions are or everything, you know, even though I've been on here for a while, kind of feel like first impressions are everything. Um, not everything necessarily, but they're important. Let me say that. And the way that you allow yourself to be displayed to the world or in front of people is the way that people are going to receive you. Like, if you're supposed to be this nice guy and you ain't never been, you know, to jail you ain't never did no criminal activity. Well, I never said never, but if you if you ain't uh you know did anything like killed anybody or robbed anybody or anything like that, um, or did any of those heinous acts that would land somebody behind bars, uh, but yet every time people see you, you're acting as if you're one of those type of people, or if you're a person that doesn't get mad but you allow people to see you get angry you know what i mean it's one of those things that the way you let people see you is the way they're going to receive you and see my silhouette right there i allowed myself to get angry you know to the point of angry to the point of desperation now Ever since I moved to California, I began working. I didn't really have time to go out and do other things because all I did was work since I've been here. Literally, since I've been here, all I've been doing is working. Working, literally. And, I, you know, very silly. I think the first time I've actually been somewhere was like a month or so after I got here and my sister decided she wanted to take me to some... San Francisco Carnival, uh, which was fun. I went there, and then the next time I did anything, as far as myself, is like, I think I want to say maybe late last year, was when I went to that, uh, that convention in, in San Francisco, I, I believe. But, uh, but yeah, I, I, I've, you know, been working primarily since I got here. Very seldom do I do anything or try to relax or take time to get my thoughts together and just go have fun because all I do is work. And because of that, you know, I build, I, I built up a reputation, especially at my current job, that, you know, is like, I take a certain pride in in actually being on time to work. Actually, like, way before it's my time to clock in, you know, like, I show up. I don't clock in, but, you know, I do show up early just to be there. You know, it's, I feel like, you know, when you're on time, you're late. You know, and I have that etched in my brain to where if I'm just making it, I, I, I feel, even though I'm not in actuality, it just feels like I am. So, and I'm a guy, I do not like missing work unless it's for legitimate reason. And I mean real legitimate reasons, like you're sick or you're injured. Like, you can't physically perform the duties at your job. And that's the type of reputation I think I've built for myself. And for a couple of days now, you know, due to some financial bullshit, 
and I do have to call it bullshit. It was just something that was completely out of my control. You know, it didn't have nothing to do with any bills. It was just, you know, it put me in a a spot that I didn't like to be in. Cause with me, I don't like relying on other people per se. As far as me getting to work and getting home, you know, if I can help it. You know, of course I got friends, people who I can, people who I can actually call friends who can help me out when I'm in a bind. But I don't like asking people for help. It's one of those things I was never good at. I was never good at asking people for anything. I mean, if, 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 if you don't believe that, I mean, look at the way I've been doing like any type of crowdfunding or any type of donation uh, campaigns. You know, I put it out there once and then it's like I never talk about it again. <laughs> like I really have this thing where I don't like asking people for help. You know, I don't like depending on other people to to um to help me out. Now, even though I won't ask for it, if people offer their help, you know, I will, you know, like receive it. And if somebody somebody I know offers me a ride home, of course I'll take it because I'm working towards getting my own vehicle right now. Because I didn't pick up a second job, gave yeah, me. I don't start that until the 16th though. So, um, yeah, like I'm going to be making way more money than I'm making at this current job, but I'm going to try to work both for a, for a short period of time because some of you may know I've been trying to work towards getting another laptop and things like that, but I'm at my current job, I'm actually working part-time. At my new job, I'm going to be working full-time Monday through Friday from like 11 to 4. I mean, not 11 to 4, from from, uh, from 7 o'clock in the morning to like 4.30 in the afternoon. Um, that's, that's how long I'm going to be working, Monday through Friday. And then on the weekends, well, on Saturdays, if I need to, if they if they need me to, to come in, then I actually get like what they call overtime pay. So I'll be making like more per hour than I would if it was just like my regular shift, Monday through Friday. So I, I'm going to be making way more money than I'm making at my current job. Because <laughs> at my current job, like I'm only at a part-time status, which means that the minimum amount of hours I'm going to get, at the very least, is uh, 25 hours a week. You know, and for two weeks, you know, what I'm saying like that's like that's 50 hours. Uh, you know, like a, every two weeks. And then you take that and you multiply that times the amount of money I'm getting paid per hour, you know, with everything else I'm trying to pay off and, you know, bills and things like that. I just don't have extra money to save up like that to, uh, you know, and I don't have my own car. So, of course, I got to take, like, Lyft or Uber to work on the weekends when the bus doesn't go all the way up to my job like it does on the weekdays. I have to take you know, that transportation, that costs money out of pocket, even though it's relatively cheap, you know, when you don't have it, you don't have it, you know what I mean, so, I, don't, I wouldn't say this past Sunday, or maybe it was this past Sunday, because this time it went by so damn fast, like my head hurt, uh, <laughs> I, um, this past Sunday, uh, was the, you know, again, with the amount of hours I'm getting per week, you know, a lot of people had left my current job. A lot of people left, and because of that, they needed people to fill in for other departments. Me, like, I actually work on what's called a garden department. Of course, they got, like, a lumber department and hardware, you know, et cetera, et cetera, electric lights, you know, things like that, doors and windows, et cetera, et cetera. But I'm, I'm kind of like a jack-of-all-trades at my job. Not to brag, because I hate bragging. But I'm kind of like a jack of all trades at my job, meaning that I'm versatile in different departments. Now, the the person that makes the schedules, they notice about me. And because they need help in other departments and because I'm so cool with them, they um, said, you know, instead of me keeping you in the garden for like one, for this week and only giving you like 12 hours a week, I'm going to bump your hours up to like 35 and I'm going to put you in different departments. That way you can, make, you know, you can still make a, a, a good amount. Now, for somebody like me, that's like a big payday. 
So I, I definitely couldn't afford to miss those days. That was a big payoff for me. So to miss those days, already on top of the fact that I don't like missing work as it is, you know, I was put in a position. Like this past Sunday, you know, it, it was the weekend. So, you know, I'm black. So, you know, black families, you know, they got to go to church. You got to go to them, them Christian church. Like you guys know how I feel about the church as a, as a whole already. That's, no, that's like no secret. Um, you know, I needed a ride to work, which was actually in the opposite direction that assumingly everyone was driving. Or at least that's the excuse that they gave me. You know, so I know the one person that could have taken that could have took me to work. You know, they was already gone, so there was no way I could catch them at all. So when I had left, uh, and I went to um, well, not left, but when I woke up, oh, and I burped in the camera. Please excuse me, but uh, when I woke up. You know, I tried to get a ride. I already knew what it was because, you know, after so many experiences before, you just know better not to ask people anything because you already know the response you're going to get, you know. So I just couldn't uh, get a ride out of them, you know, even though I did ask still. I, nobody was going in that direction. Everybody was leaving and going in different directions than where I was going. You know, I was going east. Everybody was going west, basically. So, uh... You know, on the weekends, like, I have to depend on Lyft and Uber. Well, more so Lyft, because I don't really take Ubers. Like, Lyft has become cheaper. But, uh, I take Lyft. And to my fucking luck, when I looked at the app, because if anybody who took Lyft or Uber or any type of these, like, uh, like any of these uh, taxi alternative services, because that's pretty much what they're labeled as, alternative taxi services, um... You can see all the cars that they have in the area. You can like you can see them driving around because they have like little sensors on them that actually show on the app and that lets you know what type of car they have uh, around, like how many cars they have around. So you can like just see them like driving around on the app or maybe like park somewhere. Like you see how many cars they have available in your area, you know, that, that can come pick you up should you need a ride. And I looked on the app, I turned it on and to my fucking luck, there was not one vehicle on Lyft around at the time that I needed it. And sometimes, like, the vehicles just don't show. Because I know the app is kind of buggy sometimes. So, what I did was I, um, you know, I just made a request anyway. And if there are no vehicles around and, and you, uh request uh, a lift I don't know if Uber works the same way but I know they do it for Lyft you um, are put on a uh, it's almost like this uh, like, uh, like a scheduled uh, like a scheduled pickup so let's say you have to be somewhere at like 9 right um, even though, like, they don't ask you when you gotta be wherever, they just let you know when the, the earliest somebody will be able to, you know, to get to you just based on when people normally, you know, have their apps turned on and they're ready to drive around and pick people up. So, th they'll tell you, like, okay, the earliest we can come pick you, the earliest we can see somebody come and pick you up is around, like, 8.30. I gotta be at work at 8. Obviously, that don't fucking work, so... <laughs> Oh, it was one of those weird times, I don't remember. I would have to look at my schedule, but I had to be at work at a certain time that when the, the lift came and picked me up, I would have been late anyway. And my job kind of works on like a point system. Like if you're late, you call in, uh, you call in, and you don't have the sick time to cover it, that's one point. If you do a no call, no show, meaning that you didn't call in and tell people that you, would, you, know, you weren't gonna be able to come in, that's two points. And after you rack in a certain number of points, within like a six month period because it takes six months after you get a point six months after that day you got it that's when it you know that, that's when one point goes away so if you rack up like a certain number of points i think like five points in like a short period of time 
then you can basically get fired. <laughs> you know, so I've never been fired from a job, and that's another thing I take pride in. I've never been fired. So Sunday, I had to make a decision to do damage control. So, so instead of me doing a no-call, no-show, you know, I just called in and told them I wasn't going to be able to make it in. So, and I didn't have the sick time to cover it because I had to take some time off work because I was actually hurt. Um, you know, I'm not going to say what happened, but, you know, I'm, I'm going to just say I was hurt. Like, I couldn't really move around, so I had to take some time off work. And that used up the majority of my sick time. I didn't think I was going to be in this situation. But, uh, but yeah. That was, um, that was something that I had to deal with on Sunday. So I was just asked out on Sunday. Nobody could bring me to work. And I was just like, fuck, you know, I'm getting all these hours at work more than what they're giving me normally. And I can't even take advantage of it to get a bigger paycheck uh, than I normally would get. You know, so it just sucked. It felt like, man, you were helpless. So I was just like, fuck it, man. I got, you know, that wasn't the beginning of the new pay schedule in the game way. But still, it would have been nice to, you know, get to work. <laughs> so that day bit me in the ass. Now, I made it to work Monday, no problem. Um... Tuesday I was off work and on Wednesday which was yesterday I had you know ran into a situation again I had to be at work at 11 in the morning because they were bringing me to they were uh, this is one of those days where they're asking me to be in another department that I normally be in to cover for somebody else and this is where those that big jump in my work hours really took off so I had you know, I had to work from 11 to 8. Now, that's big for me. You know, that's big. That's like pretty much like a full day. I don't get too many of those. So I was like, yeah, okay. Normally, I get like a good, you know, 22 hours a week. And they're trying to give me like 35 this week. I need to take advantage of that. So because of that, um, again, bullshit happened where I was like flat broke at that time. I was flat broke this past Tuesday. Luckily, I had me a little come up. So... You know, and I couldn't, I couldn't do anything. So I was depending on somebody else to bring me to work. And I told them I had to be at work for 11. They said they was leaving. They ought to be back by then. You know, it's 10:32. I'm, I call them. They tell me they sitting down having dinner with somebody. I'm just like, again, like that, that was just like a, the ultimate kicking the balls for me. And that just kind of reaffirmed why I don't depend on nobody else to get me back and forth to work. So that's basically what I was, like, pissed off about. I just couldn't, you know, like, I just couldn't deal with that type of shit like that. You know, because I feel like um, this is, like, a big payday for me. I'm missing out. And I can't really do anything to, to get a come up. So that's basically it, man. I just... I was just really having a bad day, and even though I was in such a financial bind, you know, I did something I wouldn't normally do, which was a donation stream. And I just, uh, I don't know, I get, I kind of let the, the negativity Yeah, so I let the, um, I kind of let the, the negativity get the better of me, so that's basically, basically it, man. I don't like showing my negativity on this channel, y'all guys, you guys know I said it a million times before, so I have to apologize for that, that I allow that, you know, I'm human, of course, but I don't like making that excuse, that's like bullshit that people say to try to get them to be excused for acting like assholes to people, I, I'm not that person, you know, um, I'm just a guy that really takes pride in being able to show up to work all the time and never being late. You know, it's just, it really kind of hit home because it's like something that was completely out of your control. You couldn't do anything, but 
when you in a negative situation, you don't really think. You don't really think about the positive. So you're always thinking, you know, okay, what, uh, what else can go wrong instead of what, you know, just calming down and seeing what can go right. And that's basically the situation I was in. I, I, I couldn't see what was like, what could go right. Because everything was going wrong at that time. So. But yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it, man. So. I'm gonna go ahead and head to work. <laughs> and uh, just wanted to talk to you guys about that. I think I'm gonna give you some juice or something when I fall out of work. Thank you guys for watching. Peace, and I uh, want you guys to see me for gameplay. Till then, shoot.